Hi everyone, this video is going to help you get acquainted with the Poplar Bridge Media Center. In here we're all about reading, helping support research, integrating technology, and this year we're starting components of design thinking and computer science. So let's learn a little bit more about us. When you walk into the Media Center you'll see signs on the doors. One of them says wonder every day and the other says enter curious. And I'm really hoping when you walk into the Media Center you're coming with ideas in mind for books that you want to check out, things you're curious about, answers you'd like to find. So please come in like that. There are three of us who work in the Media Center. There's me, Mrs. Wabma, Media Specialist. Miss Witherby is our media clerk who checks books in and out, processes new books, gets books shelved, and then Mrs. Lawrence is our technology support who keeps everything up and running in our building. We are here to help you, so if you ever need anything, just let us know. So our goals for today, we're going to review guidelines for the Media Center, our expectations, procedures, a little bit about the different spaces that we have in here, so that you're going to be ready to check out books. Yay. So what do we do in here? We read ebooks and books. We work together and collaborate on design thinking projects. Sometimes we do some computer science projects in here. We learn technology skills and tools. Maybe you're on a Chromebook, an iPad, or a computer. And also we do research projects. Here are some pictures of some things um, that have to do with finding books, recommending books to friends, and just enjoying some reading time in here. We also use the computer sometimes to make projects. Um, if you are a student who has a Chromebook, we bring those in here. Sometimes you'll partner up to do some learning, and sometimes you'll work solo. And also, some classrooms have iPads, and we use those to locate information, create projects, and show our learning. We also do some designing and problem solving and coding with our Makerspace items. And one place I really wanted to make sure you knew about was our website. So if you go to the Poplar Bridge website and click Media Center, you'll find a link to our catalog, our ebooks, um, a quick link to public libraries. And then down here towards the bottom, you'll see student resources. And when you click there, it'll link to a lot of different tools that you'll want to be using this year. When you're in the Media Center, just like anywhere else in school, we show our polar pride by being kind, safe, respectful, and responsible. And a way that we can show kindness is just helping each other out. If you see someone drop a book, um, help pick it up. If you want to recommend a book to someone, the kind thing to be do would go up to someone and say, oh, I think you really would like this book, and tell them why. When we're in here, we're safe. We always have our eyes forward and use walking feet, and also use our furniture properly. If you're in a chair that spins, it's not just going to be sitting there spinning around, but turn your chair to talk to a partner. That's great. So using our furniture properly. We're respectful um, by being quiet so others can work, you know, and also just having manners, saying please and thank you. We can show responsibility in the Media Center by bringing our books back each week so that other kids can check them out and enjoy them. So in our Media Center, we are so lucky to have such an amazing space. Let's take a peek. We have some reading areas where we have little couches. We also have bean bags. So those are some great spots to cozy up and read. We've got a computer lab on one side. We've got a table and desk area. We've got a story corner where we enjoy reading some good books together. And speaking of books, we have tons of amazing books. We have picture books. We've got great beginning readers. We've got chapter books um, divided out by genre. We've got a section of lots of great graphic novels, lots of nonfiction and biographies. So if you know me, and if you know I love reading, if you don't know me, you'll find that out soon. So I really love helping kids find books that you're excited to read. So I can't wait for you to come and check out books. We have a couple of search stations where you can use the library catalog to find books that you're looking for. And coming soon, I have some empty picture frames up on the uh, fiction and biographies where this year I'm going to find some kids to take pictures of and you might see yourself up there. So look for that to be coming um, in those picture frames that are up on the shelves. Um, if you are not able to check out books, we have honor books or browsing books, which you can read here, or if you want to take them home, that's fine. We also have a couple supply shelves with basic things like crayons, pencils, paper, um, things like that. So if you're in here and you need something like that, feel free to use it. And Sharky. So kids always wonder, what is up with that shark? So the shark came from the Mall of America. It used to be in their exhibits. They were taking it down, and we got lucky enough to get it. When you come in or go out of the media center, know that there are labels on the top of the doors. We only have these just to keep people organized and safe so that when you're in your line, you're not going to be um, running into kids 
who are coming in if you're leaving. So just a safety thing. And some common questions kids ask. How many books can I check out? You can take three books at a time. When can I check out? What can you check out? Ask your teacher. Sometimes you might have a special project going on in your class and your teacher might say you have to have a biography today or you need a historical fiction. Um, our general rule is one, um, two just right books. One is uh, fiction literature. One is an informational text. And then a third book is your choice book. But your teacher will let you know what you need. And then how long can I keep books? You can keep them for two weeks. If you have a bigger book, you can always renew the book. So bring it in. Miss Witherby can scan it and renew it unless it's a super popular book like our Battle of the Books, in which case it might be on hold for another student and then you need to return it. But that's the general rule, two weeks. And then what about books that are either overdue or you lost it or you damaged a book? Rule of thumb is you can always have three books. So if you have one overdue book, you can't check out two books, but we ask that they be kept at school. Um, if you have two overdue books, you can have one book to check out, but again, we ask that it stays at school. If you have three books that are overdue or damaged, then you'll be taking honor books. Um, again, when you're in here, we follow the same rules of eyes on the speaker, ears listening, mouths closed, and body calm so that you can listen to the message. So if I say, hey, hey, polar bears, you'll say, show your paws. Shelf markers, you all know them. You've used them before. We use them so we know where to put a book back if you decide you don't want it. And also it helps others find the book in the correct spot. So everybody uses shelf markers. So when you come for checkout, make sure you grab one. And then taking care of books. The books that we have in our media center are books that we share amongst students here as well as all the staff. So we need to be responsible to take care of them. So if you have a dog at home, like we see here, please put your books, or another pet, doesn't have to be a dog, keep your books in a safe place. Um, give your dog a chew toy so that they're not gonna be making a mess of your library books. Your backpack, I'm hoping it doesn't look like this. Uh, we want your backpack to be neat and organized so your books stay straight and none of the corners get dinged up or crinkled. When you're walking down the hallway, this is not what we want. We want you to be walking down the hallway with your books stacked and carried carefully so they don't slide and fall on the floor. Um, crimping pages, please don't do that. We have bookmarks available at the checkout desk. Every week you can take one bookmark, so please use bookmarks. And then remember, books are due after two weeks. If you need to renew them, please do that. Um, we can help you with that. And then last is eating food, even drinking water can damage books. So please don't, we want to keep our books nice and shiny and new. So please don't eat um, or drink even water when you're reading books. So now the great thing is you are ready for book checkout. Your teacher will talk to you about their expectations and requirements. And I'm just excited to have you come in and to see you again and have the help um, you find some just, just right books and just because books. So thank you. Remember, our media center is everybody's shared space. So we want to take care of it, take care of each other, and our books and technology. And I'll leave you with this.